Hello everyone, my name is Jax and today I'm going to demonstrate a really good method to use when running a 5M server using a virtual private server or a VPS. This method involves GitHub and specifically the GitHub desktop app. I am going to walk through the steps on how to get this set up and I will um, demonstrate everything as slow and easy and understandable as possible along the way. This video already assumes that you watched my part one in this playlist because this is the part two. You can pretty much call it part 1.5 because it's because it's technically still the workspace setup, but it's just a method that I would like to share to those who do not know about it. So again, this already assumes that you watched part one in the playlist. With that being said, let's just go ahead and get started. So we're going to press Chrome. We're going to type in desktop.github.com. This link will be in the description, by the way. And we want to download this. And the reason why I'm not downloading it is because I already have it. Whenever you do download this, you just open the executable file and then it just installs on its own. It doesn't ask you to press next. It doesn't ask you to check anything. It just prompts the user to install and that's it. Once you have that window that says it's installed, it, I'm pretty sure it'll open on its own after a few seconds. It did for me at least. So when you open your GitHub desktop, you're gonna see something a little bit like this. It's going to prompt you to log into your GitHub account. If you do not have one, Go to github.com and it won't look like this for you, but uh, sign up uh, wherever it says sign up. I don't know where it does, but press sign up. And then once you're logged in, you should be brought to this screen. Or if you're not at this screen, you will most likely be brought to this screen. Press the green button if you're at the other screen. There's a green button that says new and it has an icon that is a book with a bookmark. Uh, if you're at this screen, you're going to press repositories and then you're going to press new. Once you press new, you need to enter a repository name. So this is going to be a name that we can remember to identify our 5M server. So for me, I am going to type, uh, I'm going to say demonstration server. We want to do uh, two things. We want to make sure we put the repo as private. Repo stands for repository, by the way. It's short for repository. So we want to make our repo private, and then we want to also add a readme file. If you do not add a readme file, I have experienced a page with a bunch of things going on. And whenever I come across that page, I do not know what to do. So I only come to that page when add a readme file is not selected. So select add a readme file. Once you select add a readme file, press create repository. Now you will be brought to this screen. What's cool about GitHub desktop is we can press code and normally anyone without GitHub desktop would choose download zip, extract the zip, and then you restart your server. And that's how you, you would install your scripts. But for us, since we have GitHub desktop, we don't need to download anything and extract it. It does the work for us. So if we do open with GitHub desktop, it's going to ask us to clone a repository. This is what we're doing. We're copying the files to our desktop. It's going to tell you this is the link to the repository. And then this is the path that it wants to be put on your desktop. For me, it kind of already knew that I wanted it to be put on my in my 5M server on my desktop. And right here is going to be the folder that it's going to be named to. And for us, it's just going to be demonstration server. So we're going to press clone. And once we press clone, it copies all of our files. So if we go to our desktop and our 5M server, so this is the path to mine, you will see demonstration server. Now, in order for us to upload our files to GitHub, we need to move our files into that folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going in my resources folder. I'm highlighting all my resources. So right now I only have two, which you should also have two or just 
highlight everything. And then you're gonna press cut. And then you're gonna go back one page, go into our repository name folder. And then we're gonna right click and press paste. And now this will just paste our files. And then watch, if I click in GitHub desktop, it loads all of our files and it automatically wants to upload all of our files. But we need to do one more thing first so we do not forget to make this easy for us. And so what we don't want to do is we don't want to be adding multiple scripts like duplicate scripts twice. It's useless because it takes up your desktop space, your disk space. What we do is we actually remove our resources uh, folder because we don't need it anymore and it's empty. And we just simply rename our repository to resources. And now when we go to GitHub desktop, it's not going to know where to find our repository clone because we renamed the folder from demonstration server to resources. So we actually need to press locate. And then for me, I have to locate it on my desktop. So it's our resources folder now, select folder. And now everything is back. So we just made basically made our resources folder our github repository clone so now it's going to want to add all of our cfx default scripts and then also the my script which is my um, typescript template that i renamed to my script but we only want to ignore the D cfx default files because whenever you go on your vps and you create a server on there, it automatically creates these files. So our VPS already has these files. So we don't need to download them again. And then just either we're just going to have duplicate files, or it's just going to ask us to replace them. And we don't want that we want to ignore them. So we're going to right click just one file, or one of the options and press ignore file. And this is going to add a dot git ignore file. And you can see this is what it contains in here. And now what we can do is we actually need to edit this file, right click and press open with Visual Studio Code. So once it opens with Visual Studio Code, we need to highlight all of this and do star. So that's like shift eight and then save. And if we go back in our GitHub desktop, it'll actually get rid of all of those CFX default files that we wanted to ignore, which now they're ignored. So now anything inside CFX dash default will no longer appear in here. So if I put my script in here, for example, it'll disappear. But if I take it out, it'll appear. So we just ignored this folder and its contents. And that's what the star means. The star means everything. We're also going to ignore another folder. It's the MyScript node modules. So whenever we are coding with TypeScript during our playlist, we don't actually need to upload node modules. These are automatically generated each time the server runs the script. So we don't need to copy and download these files. Plus it's just, it's unnecessary storage to add. So we're going to add it to our git ignore. So I already right clicked and add a file to it. So it appears right here. We're just going to get rid of dot bin s build and do star just like we did up here. And then we go back in here and now we don't have the node modules anymore. So now what we can do is we can press commit to main, but you see it says a summary is required. So we need to add a summary. So we're going to say added my script to server files. I'm going to press commit to main, and it's going to ask you to push origin. So it's going to push origin. And now if we go to our uh, github.com, our repository, we press refresh. Now our my script is appeared right here. And what's neat is that if we go to our VPS, so this is what my VPS looks like. And the reason it's set up this way is because I already use this method for my actual server. So for just demonstration purposes, I'm going to clone the repository to a random folder that's not a 5M server, but just for demonstration, I'm just gonna show how it's done. So let's say you download, you log in to GitHub desktop the same way that we did on our desktop. 
and we don't have anything to clone just yet. So we actually press up here and press add and press clone repository. And you can also go to your Chrome or Edge or whatever and look up your repository by URL and do it that way. But I'm just going to be doing it this way because it's easier. Demonstration server right here. So let's press data folder, press whatever, and then select so folder. So this is just some random folder I created just for demonstration purposes. We're going to press clone. And then what will happen is if we go to our desktop down here and go into whatever, we have our demonstration server. And now if I legitimately had a 5M server, I would already have the resources folder. I would do the same exact thing, copy everything from resources into here. That way it has the default files and then delete resources, rename this to resources. So resources, same steps as we did before. Can't find it, locate it, click this select folder and then everything. So now if I go to my actual desktop, and let's say I go into my server's resources and I do right click text document test. So now we made a test text document. We can go to GitHub uh, desktop. It'll say it'll detect the file because we made it in the resources folder. We can, he has a placeholder folder. So we can press commit to main, push origin, repeat these steps every time you add a script. You press push to origin. And then you open your VPS, you fetch origin, and then you pull origin. And now if I go into my resources folder in here, we have test.txt. That's it. Each time you download a script, you do those steps. And then that's it. And then you can just exit your VPS and restart your server. That's it. So again, if you delete the file, it'll detect it. You deleted it. You commit, push. And then I go to my VPS, I fetch, and then I pull. And then as you can see, it removed the text file down here. It's no longer there. That would be as, as if I removed a script. And now the best part is now your local host server. This is now your test server. So for example, if I were to set up a script such as Discord Ace Perms, I would set it all up on my local host desktop server. And then I would configure the script, do whatever. And then all I would do is those steps, add it to here, commit to main, push, and then go to VPS, fetch, and then pull, and then restart your server. That's all you have to do. So anytime you configure a script, it's just gonna be put to your GitHub, already configured, because you, you saved your files to your desktop. And then it's gonna be in the GitHub. And then whenever you pull it to your VPS, it's gonna be there. Anytime you make a change to those config files and you push and pull, then it'll update and it just replaces the files. And then for scripts that you are creating or te still testing out actively on your test server, what I recommend you do is you actually make a folder, name it square bracket, and then type I don't know, something like nor me. And then what you would do is you would do the same thing is you would add it to git ignore. So let's go and add nor me forward slash star, save, commit to main, push origin. So now anything that we put in here, we just put a folder, it won't do anything. Also, I do wanna note one final thing that you do need to remember is if I download a script, let's say I download the TypeScript template. This is just for an example, okay? If I open with GitHub desktop, it's gonna ask me where I want to clone it. I want to clone it in my resources folder. Let's say select folder and press clone, okay? I'm doing this kind of quick because I'm trying to demonstrate something. You will notice that you're actually gonna be in the repository for the repository that you downloaded or cloned. What you need to do is you can go up here and press current repository and select your different repository. So you're going to press your servers folder and or repository. And right off the bat, you're going to notice that it does detect the folder, but it says the file is empty and nothing else is showing. There's so many folders and files in here 
that it just doesn't detect. And the reason that is, is because in this folder, you will see I have a dot git folder. And if you do not see this, you just need to press view and then check hidden items. And then I also recommend you check file name extensions, but specifically check hidden items. And then you'll see this invisible kind of faded looking icon called dot git. The reason why we don't see our files in there is because of this folder. If we delete this folder, our files will appear. I recommend that every time you clone a GitHub repository, just delete the .git folder. That way you don't forget and you automatically are able to upload to your repository. So that's gonna be all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I raised some eyebrows on this. It's not a new method. It's just a method that I feel like a lot of people don't know about. And that's why I wanted to share it. So I hope that this helps everyone. Um, if you enjoyed this video and it did help you, please give me a like. That way I know that I at least helped out a few people. And then if you want to see more content like this, drop us up and subscribe to my channel because I do coding content specifically for 5M development. Also, if you want to know of any announcements or any scripts that I make, any updates on my channel when I'm posting, if I'm not posting, if something's delayed, I have a Discord link that's in the description. Um, please join that. That's like my development kind of server. I can actually demonstrate it here. This is my development server. So this is like my, in my announcements, I post like last night I had a live stream. And if you weren't there and you didn't know, it's probably because you were in my Discord to know about it because I ping, I ping everyone. So I don't ping a specific role or anything. So come on and join my Discord. I hope you guys can, can make it there. Um, also, if you are looking for a good hosting for your VPS, for your 5M server, I recommend joining uh, Otter Hosting. I'll also put the link for this in the description. I recommend joining uh, Otter Node Hosting because this is kind of a new um, hosting, but it's one that I am a part of. And um, it's really good. It's popping off. People are loving it. The feedback is so far, it's amazing. And the rest is for you to find out. That's it. That's all I got to say. I'm not going to go over like the, what the website looks like. I'll probably just make another video for that. But um, that's just something that maybe you can suggest in my Discord because I allow suggestions for videos in my Discord. But that is going to be all for today's video. And subscribe if you enjoyed and I will be peacing out. So deuces.